Hi guys, now I am going to discuss Java programming. As we know that Java is the most popular and widely used programming language. Now let us discuss why Java is most popular language and widely used language. Because Java is fast, reliable and secure language while comparing to the C and C++. And Java is a platform independent language. What does platform independent mean? The Java program can run in all the operating systems like Windows, Ubuntu, Mac OS. So it is a platform independent language. Another thing is that while coming to the Java environment, the Java environment consists of mainly three things JDK, JRE, JVM. So the JDK is a Java development kit. It is a kit which provides the environment to develop and to execute our Java programming. So the JDK contains mainly two things, development tools and Java runtime environment. It's nothing but JRE. What is the use of JRE? JRE is an installation package which provides the environment to run the Java program, but we can't modify the Java program. program. Coming to the next thing, JVM. It's an interpreter which is nothing but JVM, Java Virtual Mission. It executes our bytecode file and it provides the output. So as we know that Java, all the programs are written in a human readable language which missions can't understand the human readable language. Missions can understand only a mission readable mission, lang mission language. So the compiler comes into the frame and it converts the human readable language to the mission language and the mission language is nothing but a bytecode. So the compiler can't execute the bytecode and the bytecode is executed by the interpreter nothing but JVM. So the JVM executes our bytecode and it provides the output. So let us check a diagram. So I am going to save my Java program with the extension of .java or it is a human readable language and the compiler converts the .java file to dot .class. It means bytecode. It is a mission level language. So I need to execute my mission level language. So here the interpreter takes this bytecode and it executes in the JVM by using a JVM. It provides the output. Coming to the next thing, Java programs can create applets. What applet mean? A applet is a Java program which that can be embedded into a web page. It runs inside the web browser. So by using a Java program, we can develop the websites which are part of web, de web development, which we, we can run our websites in a web browsers. That's the adv main advantage of Java and Java is an object oriented programming language, but Java is not a purely object oriented language. Why? Because to satisfy whether the language is a pure object oriented language or not, it's the language should satisfy these seven qualities. What are those encapsulations? Nothing but a data hiding inheritance and polymorphism abstraction all the predefined types are objects all user defined types are objects and the last point is all operations performed on objects must be only through the methods exposed at the objects so the java doesn't provide the fifth accept the fifth point and the seventh point so we are using some predefined data types like integer characters and many so those are not an object, those are the data types. That's the reason we can't say that the Java is a pure object oriented programming language. So these are the four main reasons to say that Java is a most popular and widely used language. Okay guys, in further videos, I'm going to discuss the syntax of a Java programming, the data types which we are going to use and the operators and many things. So thank you guys. Have a nice day.